Hey everybody, it's Felicia, aka Miss Hot Mess and her randomness. Um, so uh, bear with me because I literally probably got out of the shower a half hour ago and um, just got my PJs on for the night and kind of put my socks on. Throw out to one of my friends, um, John Patch. Here's some little of those socks that you're looking for. I swear this guy like will go into every single one of my pictures. I love him. <laughs> but he tries to like look for socks in every single one of my videos or my um my pictures. It's like I see sock hamsters. So okay, so apparently John, you're gonna have to create hashtags sock hamsters and literally in all my videos from now on do hashtag sock hamsters. I don't know. Something along those lines. Okay, but this is so not where this video is supposed to be going. 49 seconds in. Um Okay, it's about how my day was today and the randomness of my stupid decisions. Um, but before we go to that, again, um, I believe the subscribe is on the bottom. I know the like is on the bottom for YouTube. Um, the comment section is definitely below this. Um, if you guys um, have any opinions, I apologize. I literally am on my couch with my phone being propped up with a cup of tea behind it. Um, so that way I can use my hands to put socks on. Um... But seriously, if you want to share, that's awesome. If you want to like or comment, more awesome. Um, if you subscribe, more awesome. Because um, I can tell you, the more you watch my videos, the more you'll be grateful your life isn't mine. You Like, I will bring you gratitude to your life um, for the stupid things that go on in my life. Like today. So that's the segue of today. So how many of you out there in the world... Uh, um, in, in just in the land of the world today or whatever. I don't even know where I was going with that sentence, but back to my line. Um, where I was trying to go. <laughs> Seriously, this is not scripted. This is just all flowing out of my, my, my random head. But, um, so how many of you like to push the line? Like, oh, for example, like when you get in your car and your car, your car is like, you are almost at empty or you have no gas. Like, most cars today, when it when you get to the E that or the E and everything like that it will tell you. Most cars tell you like you have ten miles or two hundred and fifty miles till empty. Blah 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 blah. Well, apparently I completely forgot about this because I didn't go anywhere yesterday. That's yeah. Yesterday was Sunday. Okay, yeah. So I was like, what day is today? But um, I when I came home on Saturday, I forgot that I had basically no gas, and um, actually I had no gas. Um, I drove into the driveway with zero on my gas tank, didn't go anywhere yesterday, and I had to go to physical therapy today. And I was kind of running a few minutes late, and I, like as in like I should have left 15 minutes earlier, I didn't, I made it there on time. But I made it to physical therapy with no problem. Then I decided to go to Chick-fil-A before I got gas. Um, so, okay, so for anybody that is local to where I am, or if you know me directly, you might know it's Chick-fil-A I'm referring to. And this is actually a throw out. This is a total respect and like gratitude moment for that Chick-fil-A. It's the Chick-fil-A Methuen, uh, Methuen, Massachusetts, um, over at the Loop. Um, they literally did not make me feel like an idiot. They were totally like things happen. We have we have a gas tank. We have some extra gas. Things happen. This happened to us. Like this has happened to one of us before. Like I literally was more petrified for the way I felt because of my insecurities and being like, oh my god, I'm in line. I'm literally there to get food, which I am going to hit a video of this topic at some point. But I'm very frugal, so I'm I'm driving with zero on my gas tank. I know I have barely any gas, but I like I think I have like 20 miles or so to empty. And I forget I've gotten places, like I've gone around the surrounding towns, and um, I'm in line getting ready to give the the young girl my phone because my rewards for my first hundred um, Chick Fil A meals um, because when this particular um, Chick-fil-A opened last Thanksgiving, no, not last, this year will be coming up to their two years that they've been open, um, so, um, uh, basically, when they opened initially, they had the contest, like many of the, the Chick-fil-A's have, and, um, I happen to be one of their first 100, so I'm still working on my first 100 card, and, um, today, I was originally going to, like, get a couple things on it, 
but with everything going on, I was just like, just, I want my, my just the number one, um, uh, meal, um, uh, Fanta, Fanta soda and everything like that. And that was after, like, I ran out of gas, like, the managers, had, the managers pushed me over on the side because I will say their design of their, um, drive through is fabulous. And those, those people that work there are doing so much right now are going beyond so many other places that are working drive throughs Um, and it's not just this particular Chick-fil-A because I've seen it at other Chick-fil-A's that have drive through that their managers, their managers, not just their crew members, but their managers are also getting out there and taking orders and, and like helping them get everything streamlined through directing the traffic. So I, I really try not to do product placements, but this was how my day was. I ended up running on a gas in the line of Chick-fil-A and um, all for my free meal and everything like that. And they put a couple, they put, put, put a little bit of gas in my gas tank and I was able to go get gas. And like, they didn't have to do that. They could have like been like any other franchise or, or corporation and like legit, like just been like, go over there or like, we'll push you out of the drive through line and then you have to get a tow. Um, or you have to go walk and get gas, but like they went beyond. So like, I need to like do a throw, a throw out, um, like a recognition to them that that particular Chick-fil-A, and I'm not saying like they're the only ones that would do it in the corporation, but like that's still like, that's actually like just some phenomenal situations because I've worked for food restaurants before I've worked retail. Like, like you get told like, like don't work like, like it to the numbers and stuff like that. Like they they're more about their community and I, I'm really appreciative of that. Um, again, also not for making me feel like I was a complete fool, even though I was, and like that was my own because I should have gotten gas before I even went to the physical therapist's office. Um, but I didn't because I thought I could write it out and, um, that was me being stupid. So have you guys ever ended up running out of gas in a place that was very awkward and been surprised on uh, people that have helped you? Um, or the fact of, here's the extra bonus part. I have a 2012 Ford Fusion. So it has an, it has an overflow valve on it. So when I picked up my car and like when I got my car and everything that actually had, had a 2011 beforehand and that car had the same thing. It has the overflow valve on it, um, because it doesn't have a gas cap. It comes with what I like to call the she -wee. Anybody who's ever gone camping, um, and as a female, probably knows what I'm talking about. I wish I had it from the car right now. It literally, it's like, it's a little funnel, but it like makes me think of a shiwi. And, um, but yeah, so, um, what situations have you ever been stuck at? Um, getting like running out of gas. Have you ever done it? Have, have, are you someone that likes to play it safe? Um, like what are, like, what are your situations? Um, yeah. So kind of share, share what's <laughs> with all your stuff too. And that was my highlight of my randomness. Like that was my pure randomness situation of the hot mess life. That is what it was today. So with that, guys, again, subscribe, like, comment, share. Um, let your friends like let your friends know there's someone that's a bigger hot mess than they are. Um, do a little like hot mess challenge. Are to your friends, are you a bigger hot mess than this this girl is or this woman is? And um, yeah. Let's go from there. So thanks, guys. Bye.